Yo, Bucko, it's Zero, come back to you with another figure of you. And today we have another figure from the Ghost Crew. Well, kind of. This is Star Wars Black Series Ahsoka Tano from the Rebels line. Yep. Um, now we're busting this out during Mando week because she just appeared in Mandalorian and they haven't made a figure of her yet for Mandalorian. I am 100% sure they will because... Hasbro likes money, and honestly, I'm okay with any Ahsoka figure we got. She, I'm surprised we have not gotten any Ahsoka figures besides her and this Clone Wars Ahsoka until now, but they want to start making the Ahsokas. I'll start buying them, especially since these are the wrong color lightsabers, so hopefully when they do remake her, we get the right colored ones, but she appeared in The Mandalorian after Bo-Katan told Mando to go find her. She was pretty badass in that, but this is the one from Rebels, so I'm sure we'll get to talk about that more some other time. Go watch Mandalorian if you haven't, and if you haven't watched Rebels either, go watch that too. In Rebels, she was Fulcrum, and they didn't know that she was Fulcrum, but she gave them some intel, some inside details and things, and eventually she was revealed to be the Jedi, and she helped, train, she helped Kanan and Ezra out a lot during the series and she's even helping looking for Ezra now she's getting her own series in the future and that's gonna be really cool to see so now we're gonna take a look at the box so on the front of the box you got the Star Wars Black series you got Star Wars Rebel it's in the nice purple you got Soka Tano side of the box you got her beautiful portrait love that a lot back of the box you got the Soka Tano and then her portrait again, and then it says, Sokotano, a Togruta female, was the Padawan learner of Anakin Skywalker and a hero of the Clone Wars. Alongside Anakin, she grew from headstrong student into mature leader, but her destiny laid along a different path than the Jedi. Yep. Then the side of the box, nothing. Just get the line, top of the box, you get the vent, bottom of the box, unreadables. And, oh my gosh, I don't have another, bo I, I have the other Rebels figures that I'm going to show off real quick, but I unlike the other Rebels figures, she was one of the few that I could not get the original release of, so I do not have her from the red box. So thank God they re-released her because I was not going to pay $70 to $90 for this figure. Alright, and there she is lined up with the others. She is number 7. It's kind of unfortunate I will not be getting Chopper, but so far this portrait, the way it's coming along, is super cool. I really like that a lot. Um, can't really see it too well, but yeah, the camera angles. Sorry. Yeah, I don't like to go above my set, but there you go. Now it's time to get this badass X Jedi out of the packaging. And here she is out of the packaging, and oh, hoo, hoo, I am so much more excited to get this Clone Wars Soka now. Oh man, this is such an amazing figure. Hopefully that Clone Wars one comes in soon, but I'm in love with this figure. And just because the mold is similar to this one, I'm so much more excited to get the other figure now. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay. We're going to get into the accessories real quick because I just want to play this so badly. So here they are out of the packaging. And oh man, these are awesome. So for starters, looking at this. Yeah, so... I have a few things with this, but mine's mine's a little bent. Not a problem, but all right. These hilts are super nice, really cool. I really love. I've always loved the kind of like katana aspect to her blades, or at least to this one. It's really cool, and I really love the shorter blade here too. Very nice. Those have kind of cool details. I don't know. They look a little small, but maybe I'm just tripping. They're still super cool. The only thing that I don't like about this is these are kind of like a bluish plastic. I wish they were just like clear or white or something. I really wish they were like a white, but not a huge problem. I hope if they do make another one in the future, they fix that. But besides that, it's fine. Um, do I even dare to pull out these blades? Uh, it always worries me pulling out lightsaber blades because... 
okay, it looks like it's fine. So yeah, there it is. Here's a smaller one without the blade in it. Yeah, it always worries me pulling out these blades all the time because you never know when uh, it's gonna break. Cause like that's super small. Yeah, that nub is not terrible. I don't think that's gonna break on you, but it's, that's a one-time thing. That's never probably not gonna come back out anytime soon. Same thing with the other one. Bam. Okay, just kidding. It hasn't come out now. Very cool sculpt. I think my favorite part about the sabers is that um, she t took the crystals from the Inquisitors and the Inquisitors red lightsabers, they made the lightsaber crystal bleed. And so she kind of like restored it and they turned to like a white. I really always liked that aspect of that. I thought that was cool. The really cool part is these also store, I mean, a little awkward looking on the belt here but they get stored on the you can store the hilts on the belt here are these in the right way yeah I think so so yeah that's it's pretty cool that you can store them here am I gonna display her like that probably not but it's still a cool feature nonetheless I always like uh, like I said in my Mandalorian review and Kanan it's always a plus that these figures can store their weapons. Um, it does hinder the design a little bit, but I prefer... I think maybe they could have gotten away with like doing a kind of like Obi-Wan kind of thing. But these are fine. It's not too big of a deal. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and get into this figure now though. Because I'm already here. And oh my gosh. Just look at that face sculpt. That is freaking beautiful. Um, yeah, the other, the original face sculpt was not bad, but I think this is much superior. Just looking at her, uh, crappy. I really wish I could get a better shot of this. There we go. A much superior face sculpt with that 3D printing, especially the white lines. It helps a ton because a lot of those are misaligned on the other figure. Um, I wish I had the other figure to compare, but I really didn't want to spend a ton of money. But yeah, that the face sculpt definitely makes a world of difference. 3D printing. Now just looking at other parts of her, yeah, I love the orange skin tone. I love the blue on her Leku. Oh my gosh, this is definitely a figure that will stand out on your shelf. I, I almost feel like this is one of those figures that just looks so much better out of the packaging. Like, there's a lot of figures that look really good in the packaging, but this is one where it looks so much better out of the packaging. Yeah. Then her kind of chest piece. Really nice detail there. Really nice detail all around here. Um, I think on mine the paint might be a little tiny bit off, but that's okay. I didn't even notice that at first. Either that or it's missing paint. Huh. I don't know if that's... It almost looks like it's intentional, but not at the same time because it's missing paint here. Uh, that kind of sucks, but whatever. Not a huge deal. I didn't even notice that at first. very beautiful just it's a beautiful figure all around I love her orange skin tone it looks super nice um, I definitely do, do think it contrasts on the Clone Wars figure better but oh my gosh all the silver detailing too and then the cloth goods here beautiful and then that's not even gonna hinder articulation at all oh that's awesome that is awesome then yeah there's so much detail on here Oh, that is beautiful. Sorry, I've been waiting since I started collecting to get this figure, basically. The boots have nice detail, too. Just, oh my gosh. I don't think there's a part of this figure that isn't amazing looking. 
Jesus, a dope figure. So yeah, besides really like one paint defect, I gotta say this is this is an amazing looking figure. I can't even be mad about the paint defect because hell, I you can't even notice it from far away, but hell, this is oh my god, this figure is beautiful. I cannot wait to get that Clone Wars figure in. But per, knowing Walmart, it will never happen. So yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at this articulation real quick. So Alright, so you have a ball joint at the oh my god at the neck and that's gonna really really doesn't help with articulation at all I hope if they make a, an Ahsoka figure in the future um, they kinda see the good thing with the newer molds is they have like butterfly joints and stuff now so she's gonna be able to get more poses I hope they kinda fix like the neck in the future because they definitely didn't for the Clone Wars figure I could probably tell you that much maybe they did I don't know but It'd be nice to get more range of movement out of her, but if they do the Rebels one, it's also going to be nice because the Lekus aren't as long. Um, so you might be able to get more articulation out of that. And you don't really get up or down. Yeah, you're not getting a ton of articulation here. Then moving on to the shoulders. get Pretty much get all around, so you can get a really good range of articulation there. There's nothing hindering her, it's just skin. <laughs> I actually really like that detail though. That's awesome. You have a single jointed elbow. Not really a problem. Wish she had the double jointed, but I mean, this works too. Because, yeah. And you have a hinge and swivel at the wrist, and this one goes up and down for, I would say, aiming purposes, but what is she aiming? Probably nothing. And then this one goes in and out. And she has a ball joint at the torso and then t -t -t moving down you already saw the leg goes all the way forward all the way back so that's amazing very few figures can do that and that's not even hindered by that then she does have thigh swivels getting that uh, up skirt yeah she has thigh swivels Then she's gonna hit that double jointed knee and kick her own ass kind of pushing it a little bit but yeah she could definitely do it and then you got a hinge at the ankle and a forward facing pin for rocker but you're not gonna get a ton of articulate oh actually wow the boots don't even hinder it that much they move out of the way that's really cool actually damn I am so glad they re released this figure all right it's time for my favorite part we're gonna go ahead and go to the 360 view
now it's time to show her off next to some other figures, and for starters, we have the Beskar Mandalorian. And now we have the Rebels crew that I have open. We have Hera, Chopper, Kanan, and Sabine. And here she is next to the new Black Series Stormtrooper and a &H Lord Vader. And as always, here she is next to Luke Skywalker Squawker. And overall, I'm super happy with this figure. So glad they re-released it because uh, there is no way in hell I was going to pay more than $50 for this figure. Super happy they re-released it. I'm super happy they updated that face paint because she looks amazing now. I had a ton of fun with this figure. If you can manage to find her, go ahead and pick, pick her up. She is a great figure. Hopefully they make another one for Mandalorian. I'm sure they will. I'm sure they're going to make every freaking character from that show into a Black Series figure. So hopefully they come out with her soon. This is a great figure. Can't wait to get my Clone Wars one in. So, as always, you can bring them in warm or you can bring them in cold. Thanks for watching and good hunting.